Welcome to part two of Lemmings. We're just gonna jump right in. At the beginning, you see the two lock gates and four question marks. You have to dig the question marks to find the keys to open the gates. One portal has an immediate drop, so make sure you throw your umbrella there right away. And put a stop at the edge so that you can figure out what you're doing. So as I'm looking, I can see that there's two official traps. One is the bubble trap and the other is the and then there's the skull. With the skull, he can put a random skull in anywhere in this six block area. It's a real pain in the butt, that's for sure. Because it keeps appearing randomly in any of those six blocks. And as soon as a lemming touches it, it's automatic death. So I would say just pay extra caution if you really have to go by that area. Now let's talk about the bubble trap. If any lemming falls into it, they will drown, automatic death. And any bubbles going upwards will actually pick up the lemmings, and once they hit the roof, they will fall to their death as long as it's past three blocks. So in this case, they won't kill them here because it's only two, and here is only two blocks as well. So let's get started and go for a question mark. So I'm going to dig down. And then I'm going to put an umbrella underneath the portal, so if they do go through the portal, they can just keep falling in a nice little circle. And I'm just going to put this there here so that we can get this first question mark right away. And then of course I have to build stairs up to it. So here we go. A quick thing about stairs is if your lemmings are underneath the built stairs and something is falling directly from above, it actually will not kill your lemmings, so sometimes it's good for a shelter. As soon as the one lemming started building the stair, I dug down so that I could build the stairs going up to the other one so that I can dig them both at approximately the same time. Now let's hope that one of these opens a portal. Oh look, it did! Awesome! Oh no, the other one didn't do it, so now we still need one more. Alright, since all those lemmings down there are busy, I'm going to use this guy up here. And we're going to get that question mark up there. Now we have to scarily go past this, so hopefully he's going to be okay. Whew, let's fast forward. I hate that random skull one. And I have an umbrella down there, so he's okay. Oh, it did open the other one. Yes! That's awesome. Now I don't have to worry about the last one. Now I just have to build the bridge to get them up and to get in there. And then a bridge for them to get back. Because only half of them were able to get in, so... So this is the fastest way of doing it, while avoiding all the bubbles and that nasty little skull. So as you can see, the one guy is just way ahead of the others, and he's just going to build the ladder all the way up. And then they're just going to go all the way up. And if one did fall, then it would fall onto the umbrella, but they're not. They're fine. Because once the ladder reaches all the way across uh, to the one brick, they'll just go back and forth, and they won't fall. And I'm giving a special shout out to the person who did help me with this level. Almost done in like three, two, one. Woo! Perfect. Good job. So let me explain a couple other things about the game. So let's start with the coins. The coins are good for purchasing a few things, but uh, from what I hear, energy is the best to use it on. So 400 coins gets you 30 energy and sometimes you're on a really tough level and you just need a couple more energy to get you through. And instead of waiting the four minutes, it's best just to purchase the extra energy. So you don't have to wait the four minutes for every extra energy that you would have needed. So now let's go over to tribes. A new season comes out each month. There are four different kinds of rarities. If you do end up uh, getting a duplicate, it will end up giving you coins, which goes into a piggy bank, which you can only actually get those coins if you end up paying for them. 
You can't always get last seasons as well, and the purpose for getting last seasons is to run the mayhem levels. So if we go over to tribes, I can show you the mayhem levels. With the mayhem levels, there's only 1 to 3 at the moment and 13 to current. I believe they're still working on the other ones. The mayhem levels have different challenges. So if you look at the Richard one where it has a fast forward button, it actually means that that challenge is the fast forward challenge where the whole level is played in fast forward. Then if you look at the pig one, it's all about portals. So with that one, the challenge is that all the portals that are there will actually randomly port you to a different random portal and not connected ones like we usually go through. Then if you look at Gil's, his is a timed event, so you only have a specific amount of time to get it done. And that one is particularly challenging because you are limited to the amount that your lemmings can build. So it takes five seconds to build something, and that really limits everything that you do. Then of course we have the cow, which is an energy round. So specifically with that round is you have to be very strategic because if you make a mistake, you're SOL because you can only use so much energy that they tell you you can use for that round. So that's basically how the mayhem levels work. They're basically like the challenge levels, but with an added twist to them. While we're here, why don't we just take a look at the other seasons? Every season has a different theme. So you have to complete four levels to open a chest and once that's done you will either get some boosters or you'll get some gold and uh, on a, just a small side note uh, you can get the special boosters like stairs and stops which you can only get on either your daily spin not any extra spins or in the chests and those are definitely needed in some cases now you do need a ticket to play the Mayhem levels. You can only hold five tickets at a time. Now I strongly suggest playing your Mayhem levels and always leaving space for two tickets because if you spin like me and then always spin for the double, uh, you, just in case you spin and get two tickets, you have room so that you're not wasting a spin. And I'm just quickly jumping into here so that I can show you the use of the boosters. So a very useful booster is the insurance policy. With this one, you will actually get a refund on all the energy you used if you die in the challenge. What I would suggest is trying the level without it, and if you pass, good. If you don't pass and you find it challenging, then add the insurance policy so that you have your energy for the second go around, or the third, or the fourth, or the fifth. Then there's this one, which is unlimited blockers which you can of course use unlimited stops if you think that you're going to be doing a lot of stop and go within that level. Then of course there's the trap disable, which you think would be good, but it disables one random trap and with of course my luck, it ends up disabling the one trap that I wouldn't have been around anyways. Then of course we have the times two booster. What this one does is it doubles the amount of lemmings on a map so if there's a map where it has 50 lemmings, you'll end up with 100. So it's actually, I think it would be best to do is to use it with this one here, which will earn you gold for every lemming that you save. So it's best to always put those two together. Then of course we have the unlimited stair booster. With this one, you have of course unlimited stairs. So if you're building up to a portal, this would be the best time to use this one. Um, I'll just say this again, that this one is actually fairly rare to get. You can only get it in your daily spin and your treasure chests. And then, of course, you have the unlimited digs and unlimited umbrellas. Now, we have talked about both those many times in the gameplays, so those are pretty self-explanatory. And as you can see, you get them a lot. So here I will say thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed that video and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is Twy, out.